So I decided to make a quick video on uh, Volkswagen Turbo uh, 2 liter TSI engine which is super common on like Golfs, Jettas, Tiguans and God knows what. Uh, common issue is that uh, vacuum uh, PCV failure of this thing and then also check engine and uh, leak from the bell housing and people say that when this fails excessive pressure in a crankcase uh, causes uh, rear main seal to fail hence the leak from the bell housing and um, yada 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 well there are fancy ways of uh, checking all these things and uh, reading codes which I did but here's a quick way to tell you why your engine is idling rough before you start throwing parts and money at it uh, I already replaced this preemptively didn't need to mine was still good uh, bell housing is wet it's dripping I should have sold this car years ago but my father likes it now I'm stuck with it so quick diagnostics 97,000 miles not even that many miles we start the vehicle and it's going to idle rough first it runs okay and it starts to idle rough more and more if I give it a little guess it runs perfectly fine it's drivable it drips a little oil when it's parked. It doesn't drip anything when it's being driven, obviously, because there is a negative uh, pressure vacuum inside the crankcase and it's holding the oil inside. So you check if this is good by opening this and you see how it like, it, like sucks it in. It's got a little vacuum pressure. But also, when I open it and close it, engine runs the same. That's not a good sign. Because normally when I open it like this, it's supposed to start running rough. When I close it, it's supposed to run great. It means it's stuck in there somewhere. Obviously, check all the vacuum crap like this. The quickest way to check how much screwed you are is this. Before you buy smog tests and you go to a fancy shop and you spend your precious time. Uh, brake parts cleaner, acetone based. Make sure it's acetone based. You spray here everywhere a little. No change. Still idles rough. It means it's not leaking vacuum anywhere up top. That's uh, good. Bad for me, but it's good. And now. Let it start idling it up again. Look. There is a check window here where you can see a torque converter right there spinning. That's where we're going to spray and listen. And it runs wonderful all of a sudden. And again, and we have this. You see, it's still running a little bit better, and now it runs like shit again. Great! My rear main seal is gone. I should have sold this third two years ago. There. Hope I helped. Have a nice day.